Well, it looks like both my panelists favor Team Secret a little bit in this matchup based on... So, on paper, it really does look like a difficult game for the PA to carry Cause, alone. Because even like you look, right, it's like the BKB timing usually tends to be for the PA, you know, you get your one item, your BKB, etc. The there is begins. an overwhelming amount of BKB counters this game. The Wukongs is going to be placed down, the physical damage from these heroes. Roar, Egg, and Curse and a cold embrace it does it feels like a difficult game but maybe i have a little bit of a wrong read on it but i'm gonna have to look to see and be impressed somehow from goon squad because i think secret has has kind of got the edge on this one by a significant margin let's have a look well, we have seen of course limp pop off on his puck yep uh, but this is gonna feel really bad on losing out i have that much xp and gold on the bottom and what we're gonna see on is top, oh, top. If I size size, it should be fine here. The Shadow Bubble coming to an end. In fact, Aqua's taking a lot of damage on the way out to the burn of those Fire Spirits. Zayat's playing incredibly aggressive. Lacking a little bit of region up here. So one thing we're going to see at least play out in the mid lane is... Zayat, oh my god, they actually got him. Yeah, hangs around an Aqua. As again, just tease him with them. Got dive if he needs to. Oh, an aggressive Shadow Word. That might be enough. I think he's dead. Yep. They got him again. A couple of times now, this top lane. Zayat. Playing too aggressive. It's got to be a bit more careful. Beat him away. Some good golden XP here to Aqua and Peksu. Same time down bottom. Starting to see the result of Chrysalis getting as much farm as he has down here. He's already able to run down Hanskin. He will live though, Hanskin with the... Just playing a little too aggressive on this Phoenix. Yeah, they are both. Very long mana now on Goon Squad. Live. Oh, they should be okay. So it looks like just a bit of a bait hit. Set up for Hanskin to TP in. See if they've got enough damage to bring down Nisha. They've got him caught in the cog. They do. And they do. It's a successful bait there from Lim. Nisha knows that he, he puppy heading over, but not quite soon enough nope. to, to get in on top of the rune. So out of team play at the moment, I would say that Goon Squad making the better moves. Now see the tree get caught. Chrysalis is going to get caught in the cog. They'll kill him for that. So not only Puppy not able to get over towards the power in tail pattern time. Refill of the bottle of limb. 20 seconds until he has the dream core top lane. As the setup for the Solar Guardian to come in from S4 and take out Ice Ice Ice. Again, is there any backup for Nisha? Right. They're heading over, but uh, they, they're going to struggle to try and get him out of the cogs. Refraction comes to an end. They've got a little bit of a heal with the Stone Raven. The Golem gets dropped. That's Nisha gone. Zayat dives into the high ground, but the Fatal Bonds are already there. A Shadow Word also able to be thrown out in time by Peksu. As there's that movement, as you said, coming towards the mid, dropping down a huge ult here with the early level six, getting the double, and maybe even looking for more as Limp. He's got his sights set on Puppy. Puppy will be able to get over into the trees. Looks like he'll have enough to, to dodge his head. In fact, Limp is kind of on target with the angle that he's going for, but he won't be able to chase here. As Limp, as yeah. we've anticipated most of the times, as he can just continue to play aggressive with the rotation onto Nisha. Ah, they're in with the hook shot. There's the setup. They'll get the kill. They can look to try for the supernova, but no, I can work. Actually, Aqua. in aggressively there, maybe thinking he can get some hits off, but he can't. He'll have to back off, dive forward. Aqua may just die for that he does they will get the kill on onto Zayats, but a, a little unnecessary there for aqua to die as he tried to jump in to help out but it wasn't needed at the end of it all and secret could pick up another kill here back on towards the mid they'll get the jump over towards peksu secret finally able to get some kills themselves on the board just make sure that this puck is able to keep his presence on the map to be able to match any aggressive moves Whoa. another rune that's good He's able to come with a hook shot, and he's gonna almost certainly die for this. They've got the cold embrace in the summary, trying to keep the TA healed up, but Anisha, uh, he'll still die. Him. They'll get the trade, they get out. Limp able to pick up the arcane rune as well. The attention that they're putting on Tanisha is massive. Like, they know that Nisha's been kind of the standout right now for Link, uh, for Team Secret, so I think exactly what they're doing is perfect. Ready to TP up that TP off cooldown in one second. He's ready to go top if he needs to. Starting off the fight, hands kept. And with the hook shot, cogs down to split secret apart. Zayas and Ice, 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 they look to be in a lot of trouble. Ice will turn with the roar on towards Peksu. And Peksu's fine, the heals are coming in from the Solar Guardian. They're taking out the Supernova. Ice, Ice, Ice will fall. Uh, Chris is trying to get involved in this fight. He's going for the TP out, there's nothing to stop it. So he'll argue that S4 is able to join globally. See the, the setup here onto Lim. The so guardian up. heal is there, and Limp, he's going to get the chance to jump out of this one. He's fine. He'll get away. So that was the curse and the roar. Uh, not quite able to secure the job. Limp. They walked him in, heal him back up. And, and that, that is the thing. You know, that is the catch and secret. If they want to try for Limp, they do have to use the ultimates. 
That still doesn't make it feel any less bad when they, they don't get the kill. Now back over towards the mid. And with the star break and cold embrace, they ain't gonna do anything. They've got the magical Zyde's gets taken down. Hansken trapping Nisha in the cog. The golem's been dropped. Buyback. See the buyback from Zyde's. Wants to get back in and be able to use the supernova. S4 will fall. Nisha able to get the double. Christmas chasing out Pexu to the back of the fight. Nisha has been healed up by the Sunray. He will survive this fight. Crystal, that you're gonna see reflected in his net worth. Goon Squad. They are heading towards us, but it did look like Secret were, were sort of intending for this move to happen. They just ran away though. They, they did. I, I guess they, they didn't feel confident to stick around long enough to, to really make the move. It looked to be that they were setting up for. I mean, Curse is going to be used on Hans Ken. We'll get the kill. Uh, but now Puppy's got the run. I've got the trap with the Dream Coil. He's very dead. Uh, there's there's going to be no further fight to, to be out there from Secret. Uh, it, it was a little strange because it did look like that's kind of the move that they wanted Goon Squad to make. They, they were smoking down, moving to be behind them. So they've got the trap silence. And that will do it. I mean, this is a, the strength that you talked about here for Nisha. Having that shard, having that silence. That's where in the back line. So Puppy has to be super careful of his positioning. Trap to lead. They see Puppy though. Puppy in a very forward position. Lips just gonna jump Puppy straight away. See so if they can take Puppy down. They can. They'll use the roll to hold back S4. They'll take down the Dawnbreaker, but Aqua, he's onto the back lines. Committing it on twice as He's ready to pop the BKB. Aqua continue to fire her back into the blue corner's command. Not caring so I had to jump back over to safety though. In fact, he's just gonna be able to catch him. Oh, that's another side blade off the cogs there, I think, to finish that one off. As that's a triple kill for Nisha, and that was not the fight that Aqua wanted to be walking into. BKB oh. and Dessa, he was ready to go. Secret say no, they shut him down. He was not able to have the impact that he hoped for there. Perfect egg, but my god, Nisha. That was a beautiful, I mean, we need to see the last side blade. Damage. What happened towards the end? Adam? I think that was a side blade hit. It was a side blade, right? Mm -hmm. Best player over and over again, and now on his way toward MKB, so he'll have a better solution versus that PA. And quickly, the gap is starting to close. And Crystal is. Let him get him with the BKB. And some more action out of this one. Hanskin will jump in with the cogs. The up for now. See a buyback come out from Pex, but Hanskin's already dead. Lim trying to jump away. Nisha, he's looking to chase it under the tier two. A couple of hits with the side blade. Then it gets low. Off to the side. Aqua trying to come out on ice, ice, ice. But the uh -oh. cold embrace keeps ice, ice, ice safe. The, the curse locks down S4 and Aqua. Aqua taken down. S4 trying to swing him with the star breaker, but he can't even finish off ice, ice, ice. S4 has to run away. Massive fights back to back. And the trap there, offering a bit of slow Nisha, setting up for the rest of the team to be able to run down another takeout S4. And yeah, now the, now the game just gets super difficult. You're playing versus Beastmaster with the Hawk constantly scouting the outside and the traps, as we mentioned. Oh. Anyone who steps out gets found. And Aqua, he's gone in with the BKB. The rules there, they'll try and back him up with the counting offering. Oh. We'll be able to jump out to the side, get him away from the Wukong's command, but S4 still falls in the front lines to the ultimate. Bit of a weird curse there by Puppy. I'm not sure if he misclicked. I think he clicked the Golem instead of the PA. Saying S4's just picked up the BKB, but that's still all, you know, there's not been any progression after that now. They lost consecutively three fights yeah right after they did pick up those bkbs so and limp of course like he couldn't sure he's only got two deaths but you can feel how afraid he is to jump in versus these traps oh, niche is it he was looking for a chance there for hans Ken, but hans Ken will save himself he's jumping in i mean he'll force out the bkb from my side side well, happily turn with the ball onto pexu see them jump the back lines aqua's trying to get in on this with the bkb Jump forward over towards Puppy. Puppy's going to be able to get out the side safely. That's Aqua taken down. Curse there from Puppy to control him. And by some protection with the Eagle, but it comes to an end. Triple kill for Nisha. You just can't get anywhere close to this TA. Nisha walking out the fight. Full HP as well. It's been multiple buybacks here, Goon Squad. Could be the final fight. If they lose their heroes now with the buybacks used, it will be GG. Mm -hmm. So they're going to give it this final shot. No BKB though on Aqua. It's a huge risk. Ice, ice, ice. He's just going to show his face. I mean, do they really want to jump this? They'll give it a shot. They're going to reveal themselves here. Hanskin will hook shot forward, but S4's already out of the game. They've got the roll on to Hanskin. The two of them out of there. The rest of Goon Squad, the best they can do is run already. Aqua is getting chased. We'll be able to jump out with the Phantom Strike. He'll live. I mean, they're still hanging around Goon Squad in the river. Peg suit. Just drawing the attention of Secret away from the push, maybe just buying time for the rest of his team to respawn. Nisha should have this though. Blink up in a second. As he's on point. Radiant he should get the kill. Ooh, Ooh. nice little hiding spot, but it doesn't matter. Traps down. Nisha knows where he's hiding. 
And they'll find Limp as well, too. Nisha, the monster. Steps. Aqua did I find the Phoenix in the back line, though. Did get himself a nice little kill. Level 25 oh. now. It's scouted, though. I right was going to say, there's no way that, yeah. No. The trap's Dyer's there. Middle tower. So I'm trying to maybe go for a clutch steal. Two versus four. That's going to go for the fight. The puppy's got the eel just ready. Turns around, drops the curse. Nisha, he's lining himself up with the big hits for the side blade. They will be able to get Aqua out to the side. Does pick up a double damage rune. There's a roar. All alone. Roars up. He may have got the BKP out, but Nisha with the true strike of the MKP takes him down. GG is called. Secret will take this game one. It was a decent start for good. It was squad. a very the good start. The lanes looked nice. It looked like yes. they were going to have a bit of hope in this, but uh, Nisha said no. And that mid game onwards, it was the TA show all around. And yeah. Aqua just couldn't do anything as the PA this game. You, you had your doubts with that being the, the sort of the way that Goon Squad closed up their draft. And we, we saw that come into practice here. He With an advantage oh. in the fight. See so what they can do with this Aqua. He has got concoction. So we'll be able to throw it out onto one of them. And there's an orb coming in. Should be fine though here. Still gonna start the game off with a fair bit of damage taken. He's gotta go back to base. Yeah, and to TP out after to healing up. Hero, we don't really see too much, but uh, I'm sure one puppy's is very happy to play. A bit of a good match. Not, not a lot of, of other teams. Don't. On the Phoenix and the Ogre, or the Skyrath and the Enchantress. Lip. And he's just playing it cool. He had a fairy fight. take tower hits. He might be able to get I this kill. I think he might Nisha. die. He's got oh, him. Man. There's nothing else to save Lim. Lim goes down first. Love Venetia. He's got the leg up. The leg up. He's been watching Pexu doing an excellent job of actually securing the lane for the Alchemist. Sure, he's not ahead of the Slardar in last hits, but they're not able to slow down Octo's farm too much. And he's actually going to get a kill. Nicely done for Pexu. And just to point out, Tower safe. I think he just holds mid. for now. I mean, he can TP down bottom when he sees an opportunity for the Alchemist. As top Hanskin, he stepped up too far. Yeah, this time around, they'll get the kill. Uh, but it does mean that Hanskin will be, will be able to make good use of that Arcane Rune. Get a few rounds of spells off onto Puppy, but TP's uh, movements are coming in, and Nisha, with that coil, he's going to set up for them to take out Hanskin, and very much oh, he broke it. limp over towards the edge. There's the dive for from Zayat, so another trap will be set. As Nisha will jump in, does get tossed back in time. The limp actually will live here for a little longer still with the jump in for Nisha. Has he got the orb? He's got the jump. One more hit. He's done the job. Need the enemy carry in the mid game. He can very much carry this game as the out. We'll see the jump in the mid again. Lim straight in, takes out Puppy. Gets caught in the dream coil. Trying to get out to the side. Concoction will hold back the two of them. But it won't be enough to allow Lim to escape. Lim will fall. And now under the tower, <laughs> Ice 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 just easily runs down Hanscan. He'll pick me TA and Slada. No way they can contest. No vision either. This time, sure, they have like Enchantress who can get a creep to scout out the... Fully investing on the, the fact that they've now got that triple blink core lineup. If they make good jumps and they get quick kills, it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. It's all, you know, it's all dependent on how you make it work, as he is scouted right now, so they're gonna go right for him. Ice, he's gonna go in. Aqua's gonna jump in, and Lips following up with a great toss. Avalanche there, that's Puppy and Zayats out of the fight. They'll run down Crystalis. I mean, that, that was a brilliant play there. Lips. They jump in the river aggressively. They're ready to look for Crystalis the second time around. Nisha trying to come in to help Crystalis out, but Crystalis, he's done for. All Three right. dead on secret. Ice, Ice, Ice trying to run, jump for. They'll come in with the BKBs to make sure they can clean up the Slardar as well. A, 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 a great, I mean, the blink paid the off blink there. paid off right it away. paid off yep. immediately. Aqua, I mean, you say... No, you do see a puppy. He's going for the shard. I'm going to jump Lim. But Lim's got back up. S4's ready to help out. They'll drop the Doom. Supernova will maybe force them to back off. S4 was thinking around, sticking around, but he didn't have anyone else in the neighborhood to help hit the Supernova. So put the BKB keep to the side. And so, but just hands can going down. A secret. Middle if they want to try for the dive hit. Yeah, so there's no doubt about it. You know, ideally, find a fight before it. Secret, they're going to be the ones to try and get into the triangle. They'll look towards Pexu. He got the heal off, but he's gonna have Lim trying to back him up. Will still fall. Ice 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 committing the BKB to finish that kill off. He's gonna try and chase over the boys, Lim. He'll be able to pick up the invision, get out the side. S4 is able to get in with the Doom drop down onto Crystalis. That's him out of the fight. Supernova onto the side. Aqua trying to commit it with the BKB and the to take it down. He can. Aqua deals with the egg. Stun over towards 
Puppy. Double kill for him. Over to the side. Limp in trouble. The Akram Peck suit. They're ready to head over and run. Ice, ice, ice down. See if Ice can escape from this one. I don't think he can. He turns with a bash. But the concoction is there. Good. Important moment in the game for Goon Squad right now. And for Secrets. Whoever gets this rush. Yeah. And it's all about the jump. You know, Goon Squad with the three licks have done a great job before Ice Boy's going to get in straight away with the BKB. Supernova off to the side. This time in a position where they can't really take it down. Aqua did start to make the moves towards it, but he cannot close the gap. They'll have to back off. Wait for the Supernova to go off. Now maybe look to get back in. Aqua with the concoction out to Crystalis. S4 is going to be ready to jump forward. But the BKB's out for Crystalis. He's trying to hold his ground. Punch back into Limp. They're taking out Hanskin a second time in this fight. Aqua, he's trying to run Crystalis down, knowing that the BKB's soon to come to an end. He'll turn his attention over towards Zayat. Not quite getting the kill straight up that they want Goose Squad. They'll look for Ice Ice Ice. We'll find him. S4 getting low focused by Crystalis. The right clicks will take him down. Get on Aqua. They're coming in with more buybacks as well. Ice 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 wants to get straight back in on this as he knows that with the team taking down Aqua there's not a lot the Goon Squad can stand tall against Secret with anymore in this team fight. Peksu also run down triple kill for Nisha. Oh Ultra my kill god Nisha. For Nisha. What a monster again in every single one of these fights. He's yet to die. Nine Look at the damage he did. Them, he tried to put attention at the TI. I believe but the Lincolns blocked the Doom as That's well. That's a lot too. of damage. Like oh my god a picture perfect situation. My, yeah my goodness indeed straight to the pit off the back of that fight. This will be an easy rush for Secret. They'll clean that up. Full Octarine done now for him as well too. He gets the jump. And when they jump on the three of them, they pop the BKBs. They, they can't do anything. Both of them. They're, they're out of the fight. That's gonna live. They cannot run. As now it's gonna be straight down. They're getting opportunities to get it on Tanisha. No, for sure, because there's always these other heroes in the face of S4. Mm -hmm. The jump here. this one. I mean, Goon Squad, they might be able to make a good fight out of this one on the back lines. Nisha he's continuing to do more of that cleanup that he tends to do every single time this game. He may even have the chance to burst through Pex, who Aqua's gonna head back to look for him. But the blink is up. Oh, Nisha just jumps in. He wants to get the kill on the way out. Phase shift to dodge the concoction. Won't be enough damage to take a Pex. Oh, he's back in again. Nisha will jump back over, finish up the kill. And as far as low as he is, he's also gonna fall to Nisha. Nisha's ready to play around with them all. Oh it's only God. Aqua left. Aqua going for a TP out. He will make it away. But everybody else just getting slaughtered by this puck. And a great TP here. He's actually, he's just dead as well too, so. Yeah, pretty ridiculous stuff coming out. Almost level 30. And what's he treating himself to next? A bit, a bit of the Revenant's broke. Ooh. I mean, he's got nothing else to upgrade. Another kill for Nisha, right? Ooh, yep. There we go. From this one. Other point out, give him the refresher shard. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he'll take it. Yep. And here's the jump. Force the BKB. Uh, he's got the dream call out onto the two of them. E Blade burst on to Pexu. Now jump in. Pexu looking to be in trouble. Ice 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 in with the follow up. That's Limp out of the game. Pexu and S4 gone. Aqua surrounded. There's no buyback for Limp. No buyback for Pexu. And now Crystalis gets to finally. Oh, finally God. gets to He's like, guys, I'm here as well. Yeah. <laughs> Hope again himself a bit of glory there with the ultra kill. And this time a fight where he'll outdo Nisha in the damage department. So a nice ending for him, which it, you know, is looking like an ending here. Truly is. Uh, what a, what an unbelievable display. And it, I mean, I think they're going to be able to clean up the entire base. Yeah, no, no, they should get the Megas here for sure. No tier twos are standing, so all three lanes are open. Aqua does have buyback, but Limp and Pexu, they do not. And still an Aegis on Crystalis, a cheese on Ice Ice Ice. And Nisha, he's ready to dive. Straight in he goes, picks up another. Good God. All right, well. I know everybody already gives Nisha an unbelievable amount of respect, but this game, he completely carried. This uh, he did. Same. You know, you still saw after the last game, and some people were like, well, yes, he played very well, but the rest of his team, blah, blah, blah. This game is like, all right, what's your excuse now? You yeah. gotta look at this boy, and he was, he was doing it all. He was really, really doing it all. Itemization on points as well too, as we said from the beginning. Going for the greed, really paid off for him having the Lincolns. Never able to get doomed. And now he's just toying with them in the yeah. game. Oh, is that a kill in the fountain? He's got to put the BKB here to live. See the jump onto Crystalis. I mean, Goose Squad, they're going to try and pull together an ancient defense here. They've got the combo. Nisha, Nisha. Oh, he died. They got him. But the base. The base is in trouble. But they did kill Nisha. And Nisha is back from the dead. Boy's back. He's ready to make 
sure they can end this game up, and they will. GG called secret. They'll take game two, and with that, the series, it's theirs. 2-0 wow. against Goon Squad today. Uh, yeah, let's just keep the camera on him. Uh, I mean, honestly, I hate sometimes.